point of view, we would actually attack. Okay. Here we go for an elbow, sorry. Hi guys, welcome to this episode of Kung Fu Report. Today we're going to blend a little bit of the Wing Chun lines with the Hakka fist. But I'm going to show you some ways that you can hit in a way that the guy can't really stop you because of the angles that you're working on, right? It's good ideas to learn how to work in different angles and also different depth in terms of perceptional speed. See you when we get back. Christian, please come in. So let's look at some of the applications. If Chris comes in for a swing, yeah. see my hand coming through? He can come through the other way. He won't see, he didn't see this hand because that way. I should put on the helmet, Chris, sorry. Yeah. If I slap Chris, I'll hurt. Um, the idea is to blend the slap and the hit in such a way that it looks like one movement, making it extremely quick. When Chris goes to explain, right? He can't see the slap or the hit, actually. Yeah. See that slow? I went one, two, the slap and the hit, and then this one went for the forearm smash. I didn't hold my fist because it'll probably break the helmet if the hammer fist. So it can also be done on the high line. It can also be done on the high line coming in for the elbow. Now I got his leg back. It can also be done on the low line here, sail up to the high line that you learned last lesson. You okay, good? No, that's good. Yeah. It can also be done cupping. And I stopped it because it'll snap, it'll hurt Chris's neck, right? And if you cut, it comes in Chris, it goes straight to the hammer. You won't be able to throw the other hand because when it comes in, this is out balancing in the slap. That's a major advantage of the slap. It out balances. Chris, you want to pick up the helmet? Thanks, Chris. This can be done in trapping. For example, when you lap so the guy, a lot of time, as soon as they feel it, they'll do a long shot. Right? Even if you get through the first arm, you can block with the other hand. If I hit, look, Chris can block, right? So that's this angle. If I hit on this angle, it's even easier for him to stop me. However, if he tries to stop me now, the slap is almost impossible to block because the bong sao doesn't stop it. And the wu sao, if you can block it anywhere like with that hand, is almost impossible to stop. The pack sao doesn't have enough power. That's the pro. The con is, when I do that, my center line is wide open. If I go out balance and then he can take a shot, I'm getting a punch right in the head or an elbow right in the face. But if I do out balance him a little bit and he tries to block me, he can't. He gets in every single time. So now you can put it in combination if I slap first. And remember earlier with slap and hit? It's a good time to put it together if I'm here. If Chris blocks, Chris blocks again, look. He can't see that coming. Blends well with Wing Chen. You can also sit back a little bit. Now it's really hard for him to stop when I sit back there. There's a man going up. If I'm in close range, now it's really hard for him to stop. The elbows come in there. And you can see that slope. And Chris, when I hit him like this, I elbow him. Once I elbow him, I use the elbow to all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Kung Fu Report. Um, today, I give you some options on working on the trapping as well as the hitting, and more importantly, how to slap and hit in a way that you get two hits for one. That's cool to try to remember the technique, but it's more important to learn it from a point of view of principles. The idea is if a guy can see you going through, then it's no good. You want to learn a movement and shrink it to the point that when you're practicing, when someone's walking by, they should have no idea what you're doing. So you're never setting off alarms. Basically, if the guy can see what you're doing or you can feel what you're doing, then you're setting off radars, right? But this takes a long time. First, you build the power, then you shrink it very, very, very slowly. Right? And this is also like harder to learn, I guess, nowadays because we have this social habit to show everything, to, to, to kind of like broadcast what we're doing. And it's 
That's fine, but it's bad when it becomes a subconscious habit. Instead, what you want to do ingrained in your body when you move is you want to move in a way that is not obvious to the other guy you're facing, right? And you want to dial that into your nervous system. Anyways, train our safe safe. Oh, actually, before I go, we have the Hacker Fist program that is being released in um, Adam For those interested in learning Hacker Fist, Xing Yi, and Wing Chen, please go to Adam It's in the full immersion program. See you next time.